Jetta Tower, a skyscraper set to dwarf the Burj Khalifa, has suddenly resumed construction. Standing at a planned height of 3,281 feet, this will be the world's first building over a kilometer tall. But with a history of political drama, contractor scandals, and a pandemic, can this colossal project finally be completed, or is it doomed to remain an unfinished giant? The Jetta Tower was envisioned as a grand, groundbreaking project that would redefine the limits of architectural ambition. Announced with the goal of surpassing the Burj Khalifa, the plan was to build the first-ever skyscraper to exceed one kilometer in height. This ambitious structure was set to rise in Jeddah, a city already significant in Saudi Arabia's history, aiming to transform it into a global hub. The design was crafted by Adrian Smith, a renowned architect with a legacy of iconic skyscrapers, including the Burj Khalifa. His design for the Jetta Tower featured a sleek, tapering form intended to withstand the strong winds that challenged buildings of such immense height. The project was backed by Saudi Prince Owalid bin Talal through his company, Kingdom Holding Company, and construction was entrusted to the Saudi Bin Laden Group, one of the largest construction firms in the Middle East. Construction officially began in 2013, with the tower steadily rising over the next few years. By 2017, the tower had already reached a height of 252 m, marking significant progress. The foundation work was completed, setting the stage for the tower to climb toward its goal. However, this rapid progress was soon interrupted by unforeseen challenges. Design and engineering challenges. Building a skyscraper over a kilometer tall isn't just about reaching new heights. It's about overcoming massive design and engineering challenges. The Jetta Tower's height alone presents serious issues, especially when it comes to wind. At such extreme altitudes, wind forces can be powerful enough to cause a structure to sway, making it essential to create a design that keeps everything stable and secure. To tackle this, the architects introduce a buttress core design. Unlike typical skyscrapers with four walls, this design uses a hexagonal core reinforced with three Y-shaped walls. This approach provides exceptional strength, allowing the tower to resist the lateral wind loads that push against it. It's like giving the building a strong backbone, which is crucial for maintaining stability as it reaches up to a kilometer into the sky. Another key element in the design is the tower's tapering shape. As the building rises, it gradually narrows, reducing its surface area exposed to wind and making it more aerodynamic. This tapering not only adds to the building's stability but also gives it a sleek, elegant profile. Reaching such heights also brings challenges inside the building, particularly with elevators. Traditional steel ropes used in elevators would be too heavy at these heights, so the Jetta Tower is set to use advanced carbon fiber ropes, which are lighter and more durable, allowing elevators to travel much higher than ever before. This combination of innovative design and engineering makes the Jetta Tower a true marvel in modern construction. Stole construction and political issues, the journey to build the Jetta Tower has been anything but smooth. In 2017, construction hit a major roadblock when Saudi Arabia experienced a significant political shakeup. The country launched an anti-corruption purge that led to the arrest of many prominent figures, including Prince Olid bin Talal, who was one of the main backers of the Jetta Tower project. His detention, along with the chairman of the Saudi bin Laden Group, the construction company responsible for the tower, brought the entire project to a sudden halt. As if these political issues weren't enough, the project faced further complications with labor disputes. Conflicts between contractor and workers led to delays, putting even more pressure on the already stalled construction. By 2018, work on the tower had come to a complete standstill. Then, just as things seemed like they might get back on track, the COVID-19 pandemic struck. The global health crisis forced construction projects worldwide to pause, and the Jetta Tower was no exception. Travel restrictions, safety concerns, and economic uncertainty added layers of challenges, making it impossible for the project to move forward for years. The future of the Jetta Tower remained uncertain. The political tensions labor disputes, and pandemic impacts all contributed to the tower standing unfinished and incomplete. This period of inactivity left many wondering if the world's tallest skyscraper would ever rise to its intended height. Recent developments and resumption of construction, recent developments have brought new life to the Jetta Tower project. As of May 2024, construction has officially resumed after several years of delays. This marks a significant turning point for the tower, which had been on hold since 2018 due to various challenges, including the removal of the original contractor, the Bin Laden Group, during Saudi Arabia's anti-corruption crackdown and setbacks caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Jeddah Tower, set to reach an astounding height of 3,281 feet, is back on track, with expectations to be completed within the next four to five years. The Jeddah Economic Company which oversees the project, is in the process of appointing a new contractor, with several international firms being considered. 
The project had already seen about one-third of a construction completed before the halt, and the skeletal frame remains a prominent feature of the Jeddah skyline. With construction back on track, the dream of building the world's tallest skyscraper is closer to becoming a reality. Economic and cultural significance, the Jeddah Tower isn't just about setting records, it's poised to have a massive economic and cultural impact on Saudi Arabia. As the centerpiece of the Jeddah economic city, this skyscraper is expected to be a catalyst for transforming the city into a major global hub, much like how the Burj Khalifa reshaped Dubai by attracting international businesses, tourists, and investors. The tower could significantly boost the local economy, creating jobs and driving new development in the region. On a larger scale, the Jeddah Tower aligns perfectly with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. This ambitious plan aims to diversify the country's economy beyond oil and position it as a leader in various sectors, including tourism, culture, and technology. By completing the world's tallest building, Saudi Arabia would solidify its place on the global stage, showcasing its engineering prowess and economic ambitions. The tower's impact goes beyond just economics. Culturally, it would be a symbol of the country's modernization and progress, reflecting the new direction that Saudi Arabia is taking under Vision 2030. For the nation, the Jeddah Tower isn't just a building. It's a statement of intent, a visible marker where Saudi Arabia is headed in the future. Competition with Dubai and global implications. The rivalry between Jeddah Tower and Dubai Creek Tower is heating up, with both cities vying for the title of the world's tallest structure. For years, Dubai has held a crown with the Burj Khalifa, a symbol of the city's rapid growth and global influence. But with Jeddah Tower aiming to surpass it, the competition is more intense than ever. Dubai Creek Tower while planned to be taller, faces a significant technicality. Since less than 50% of its height will be habitable, it won't officially be classified as the tallest building. This distinction could leave the door open for Jeddah Tower to claim the title, setting a new benchmark in skyscraper construction. This competition reflects a broader global trend where cities around the world are racing to build taller and more iconic structures. The drive to reach new heights is about more than just breaking records. It's about showcasing engineering capabilities, attracting tourism, and boosting economic growth. For the future of architecture and engineering, this race signals the beginning of a new era where the limits of what's possible are constantly being pushed. As cities continue to compete, we may see even more ambitious projects emerge, reshaping skylines and redefining what skyscrapers can be. The future of Jeddah Tower. The future of the Jeddah Tower looks more promising than ever. With construction resuming in May 2024, there's renewed optimism that this monumental project will finally be completed within the next four to five years. The Jeddah Economic Company is actively working to appoint a new contractor, which will be crucial in pushing the project forward. However, challenges still lie ahead, including the need to ensure that the remaining construction progresses smoothly and on schedule. If these obstacles are overcome, the Jeddah Tower will not only become the world's tallest building but also a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambitious Vision 2030. The timeline for completion is now clearer, but the question remains, will the Jeddah Tower reach its full potential and redefine the skyline? or will it face more setbacks? The coming years will be critical in determining whether this ambitious vision will finally be realized. Will the Jeddah Tower finally rise to become the world's tallest skyscraper, or will it remain an unfinished dream? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is the biggest challenge in completing this massive project? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Here's an expanded version of your text, continuing the narrative while maintaining the original structure and adding depth to reach approximately 2,000 words. I've incorporated additional details on engineering, economic impact, regional competition, and future implications while preserving the original content seamlessly. Jeddah Tower, the quest to build the world's first kilometer tall skyscraper. A monumental vision. The Jeddah Tower, a skyscraper designed to dwarf the Burj Khalifa, has suddenly resumed construction after years of delays. Standing at a planned height of 3,281 feet, 1,000 meters, it is set to become the world's first building to exceed a kilometer in height. However, its journey has been fraught with challenges, political turmoil, contractor scandals, and the COVID-19 pandemic have all threatened to derail this colossal project. Will it finally rise to claim its place as the tallest structure on Earth, or will it remain an unfinished testament to ambition? Originally envisioned as a centerpiece of Jeddah Economic City, the tower was announced with a bold goal of surpassing Dubai's Burj Khalifa, 2,717 feet, and redefining architectural limits. Designed by Adrian Smith, the architect behind the Burj Khalifa, the Jeddah Tower features a sleek, tapering form engineered to withstand extreme wind forces at such unprecedented heights. Its construction was backed by Saudi Prince Oli bin Talal through his Kingdom Holding Company, while the Saudi Bin Laden Group, 
one of the Middle East's largest construction firms, was entrusted with bringing the vision to life. Construction officially began in 2013, and by 2017, the tower had already reached 252 meters, 827 feet, a promising start. However, progress was abruptly halted due to a series of setbacks, leaving the project in limbo for years. Now, with work resuming in May 2024, the question remains, can this engineering marvel finally be completed? Engineering the impossible design challenges. Building a structure over one kilometer tall is not just about height. It's about overcoming immense engineering obstacles. The Jeddah Tower's design incorporates several groundbreaking innovations to address these challenges. One, wind resistance and structural stability. At such extreme altitudes, wind forces can exert tremendous pressure, causing skyscrapers to sway dangerously. To counteract this, the Jeddah Tower employs a buttress core design. Unlike traditional four-walled structures, it uses a hexagonal core reinforced with three Y-shaped buttresses. This design distributes lateral forces more effectively, acting like a backbone to stabilize the tower. Additionally, the tower's tapering shape reduces wind resistance as it rises, making it more aerodynamic. This not only enhances stability but also gives the building its distinctive, elegant silhouette. 2. Elevator Technology – Breaking Vertical Limits Conventional steel cable elevators become impractical at extreme heights due to their weight. The Jeddah Tower will instead use carbon fiber ropes, which are lighter, stronger, and more durable, allowing elevators to travel unprecedented distances without compromising safety or efficiency. Free, foundation, and load distribution. Supporting a structure of this magnitude requires an exceptionally deep and reinforced foundation. The tower's base extends 60 meters, 197 feet, underground, anchored by 270 piles driven deep into the bedrock to ensure stability. These innovations make the Jeddah Tower not just a record-breaking skyscraper, but a testament to modern engineering. Political turmoil and construction halts. The project's progress was derailed in 2017 when Saudi Arabia underwent a dramatic anti-corruption crackdown. Among those detained was Prince Olwalid bin Talal, a key financier of the Jeddah Tower. Simultaneously, the Saudi bin Laden group, the primary contractor, faced leadership upheavals, halting construction indefinitely. Further complications arose from labor disputes, delaying work even before the political crisis. By 2018, the site fell silent, with only the skeletal frame standing as a reminder of what could have been. Then, in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic struck, disrupting global supply chains and halting construction worldwide. The Jeddah Tower, already stalled, faced further uncertainty as travel restrictions and economic instability made resuming work impossible. For years, the tower stood abandoned, a symbol of stalled ambition. Many wondered if it would ever be completed, or if it would join the ranks of unfinished megaprojects. Revival Construction Resumes in 2024 In a surprising turn of events, construction officially resumed in May 2024, marking a new chapter for the Jeddah Tower. The Jeddah Economic Company, now overseeing the project, is in the process of selecting a new international contractor to replace the Saudi bin Laden group. Approximately one-third of the structure was completed before the halt, meaning the core and foundation are already in place. If work proceeds as planned, the tower could be finished within four to five years, potentially by 2028 or 2029. However, challenges remain. Appointing a reliable contractor capable of handling such a complex project, securing funding amidst fluctuating global economic conditions, ensuring labor and material supply chains remain stable. If these hurdles are overcome, the Jeddah Tower could finally claim its place as the world's tallest building. Economic and Cultural Impact Beyond its record-breaking height, the Jeddah Tower is a cornerstone of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, a plan to diversify the economy beyond oil and position the country as a global business and tourism hub. 1. Boosting Jeddah's Economy The tower is expected to attract multinational corporations, turning Jeddah into a financial and commercial hub, create thousands of jobs in construction, hospitality, and retail, drive tourism, much like the Burj Khalifa did for Dubai. 2. A symbol of national pride the Jeddah Tower represents Saudi Arabia's technological and economic ambitions. Its completion would signal the country's shift from oil dependency to a knowledge-based economy. The race against Dubai Creek Tower Dubai, not to be outdone, is developing the Dubai Creek Tower, designed to surpass 1,300 meters, 4,265 feet. However, 
a technicality may prevent it from claiming the world's tallest building title. Since less than 50% of its height will be habitable, it may be classified as a structure rather than a building. This leaves the door open for the Jeddah Tower to officially become the tallest habitable skyscraper, reinforcing Saudi Arabia's place in architectural history. The future. Will Jeddah Tower succeed? With construction back on track, the Jeddah Tower's future looks brighter than ever. However, risks remain. Financial instability could slow progress. Geopolitical factors may impact construction timelines. Engineering challenges at unprecedented heights could still arise. If completed, the tower will not only break records but also reshape skylines, economies, and global perceptions of Saudi Arabia. Final Thoughts The Jeddah Tower is more than just a building. It's a symbol of human ambition, engineering prowess, and economic transformation. As construction progresses, the world watches to see if this kilometer-tall dream will finally become reality. What do you think? Will the Jeddah Tower overcome its challenges, or will it remain unfinished? Share your thoughts in the comments.